speaker back on because I turned it off <laughs> to check for the, the sound. Okay. Okay. Maybe I think we'll do a stretch because that feels like a something we can all use and I need one too. And I didn't do one last week. So let's just put on something a little relaxing. Let's begin. Okay. So I think maybe I'll start standing. And once you get to touching your toes, you can stay here. If you can't touch your toes, you can grab your elbows and let your head and your arms be a weight. If you need to bend your knees, you absolutely can bend your knees and place your hands on the floor. And then practice shifting your weight into your hands and your feet so that you begin to ground through your feet and your hands. This is good to practice outside as well as inside. And you can find a way to stretch through your spine in whatever place your spine needs the stretch. So if it's a low stretch, you can curve the spine down, your pelvis down further. And if it's, you need it in the higher back, you can push through the higher back. And make sure your head is released. And slowly roll up, reversing how you went down. Keeping your knees bent to protect your back. Feel your belly button pressing in. Inhale. Exhale. Then you're going to take, I'm just showing you so I'm stepping back and forth, but you're going to take a wide space between your legs. You can make a triangle and you're going to roll down again. If you want to bend your knees, you are more than welcome to. Once you can place your hands on the floor, bend the knees really deep. You can turn out your feet or you can leave them turned 
towards the front and straighten the legs and bend. Keep breathing and straighten and walk your hands and your head over to your to one side and take a breath here. And walk over to your other side. Gently, never force anything. You can also play with your weight here on the ground between your feet and your hands. Find that grounding. Return to center. Bend your knees. Turn your feet out and then press your elbows against your knees and do what feels good here. I like to rock. If it's too much pressure, you can keep your hands on the floor. Are you ready? Place your hands on the floor and straighten your legs. Turn them in and you slowly roll up like a snake. And then you keep your arms up in the sky again. Grab your hands together and stretch side to side. Keep inhaling and exhaling. And remember to take your head with you. Don't leave your head in the middle. And then if it feels good, you can arch backwards. And curve a little bit forward, keeping your knees and your feet straight. Inhale, stretch as high as you can to the sky. And relax down. We're gonna go, we're gonna roll down again. I'm gonna go diagonal or sideways. So roll down slow or as fast as you need to. Once you get your hands to the floor, you can walk them out into a downward dog. And press your hips to the sky. And press your heels to the floor. And then bend your knees gently and come on all fours. And we'll do a little bit of cat and cow. So release your belly button to the floor and look up as high as your eyes can see. And then press your belly button up to your spine and push your spine all the way to the ceiling. And you can try to look at your belly button if you can see it. And release the belly button to the floor. And reverse. Press your spine to the ceiling. And come to the middle place. And you can go side to side. So think about your head trying to reach your tail like a dog. And the other side. Again, the first side. Second side. And then you can move in any direction that feels good to you, in circles. Just keep your knees and your hands on the floor. You can move your neck, you can move your head, you can wiggle your shoulders, you can wiggle your hips. This is really good to take the weight out of our feet all the time and to bring our spine, give our spine some mobility. Good, and then press your hips to your heels and go into turtle pose. You can bring your head to the floor. And this is a passive pose, so you don't need to push anything here, just relax. And if you're having a hard time sleeping at night, this is a really good exercise. Take a deep breath, inhale. 
and exhale. Release your whole body into the floor. Then gently walk your hands back so you can sit onto your heels. Inhale, exhale. And if you're feeling up for it, you can follow along. If this is too much for you, you can do the turtle pose again. But I would like to do a camel. So you can keep your knees hip width apart. So just in line with your hips here. And you're going to place your hands on your lower back and press your heart to the sky. And if this is as far as you want to go, you can stay here. If you have the mobility, you can place one hand at a time on each heel or your ankles. And keep pressing your heart to the sky. And return it the same way you came in. So both hands on your lower back, slowly and Release onto your knees, and your hips to your heels. You never want to do that one too fast. Good, and then I'm coming a little closer and sit and adjust. So you can sit in a butterfly position. So you can grab your, your ankles with your hands and you can walk your hips back if you need to and you can flutter your knees like a butterfly. If you don't want to flutter your knees, you can press your knees with your elbows. This is a nice stretch. Don't forget to breathe. and release, and then cross one leg over the top of the other leg, and you wanna line up your knees together here. And if you wanna walk your feet out a little bit, but you can keep both hip bones on the floor, and bring your arms over your head, and down in front of you, and forward, unless you're getting so much of a stretch, you don't need to go forward. And place your hands on the floor. This one is really good for your hips. And switch gently to the opposite knee on the bottom. Got to kind of wiggle into place sometimes. Inhale, bring your arms up. And down, and forward. And breathe. Keep both hip bones on the floor. And release. And then both feet forward and shake them out if you need to. Your hips are tight, and then you're going to flex your feet. Actually, we'll do a flex and point exercise. So point your toes all the way as far as you can, and then flex your feet back. And point. And you can take as long as you want to articulate each muscle and really feel each toe pointing and flexing. And then grow really tall and reach forward and grab your toes. If you can't grab your toes, you can bend your knees until you can grab your toes. And then press the knees down gently. And if you want to bring your head down with you, that'll help you get a little bit further. And if you want a deeper stretch, you can lift your heels off the floor. And walk your hands back up your legs. Good. Oh, let's 
do an arm exercise. So we can do uh, a little like a little bit of eagle. So you're gonna twist your you're gonna put one arm on top of the other and twist your arms up as far as you can. And you can keep your hands straight if you need to grab your hands and clasp them, you can. And you want to keep your thumbs right in front of your nose. And you want to keep your back very tall. And press your shoulders down to the floor. And release. Remember which hand is on top. Switch hands or arms. And wrap them back up. You can bring your elbows up a little bit to see where you need that stretch. And then press your shoulders down. Make sure your hands are right in front of your eyes. Breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Release. Bring your shoulders all the way up to your ears. They might have already been there. And then exhale, release your shoulders all the way down. Inhale, bring your shoulders up. Exhale, drop your shoulders. Feel your shoulder blades going up and down and realize that in real life, can control this all the time. Inhale up, exhale down. Good. I have somebody with me, I think, right? Do you want me to keep going? I can keep going. Yeah? Raphael is joining us from France. Oh, amazing! France. Uh, yeah. Hi. Yeah, he he's uh he's in the garden, so his camera is off. Oh, amazing! I'm oh, jealous. My. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm on the the Milky Way outside. <laughs> oh, it's nighttime in France. Of course, it is. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, if you want to do another five minutes, and then that would be good. Absolutely. Let me. Okay. Yeah, why not? Sounds yeah, like why not? Idea. You're here. And I'm here. Um, let's do some isolation. Yeah, so I'm going to start. I'll start sitting actually. Wait, that's probably right where I want. So you can stay sitting, or if you're standing, that's totally fine. I'll stand too eventually. But we'll just start with our head. So you're going to turn your head from one side to the other, just gently looking back and forth, continue your breathing, and then look forward and you're going to tilt from side to side, really feeling the weight of your head and how much we carry there. Good, and then you can pick a side and then drop your head forward and do half circles in the front. Gently, you can spend a little time where your neck is a little crackly. And then when you're ready, you can take a full circle. Always be gentle with your neck. It has to carry a lot of weight. And then when you're ready, you can go the other direction. Good, and when you're ready, you can go back center front and roll up again. We did a little shoulders, but I'll do a little more. So roll one shoulder backwards. Try to only move the shoulder and nothing else. And then move the other shoulder backwards. 
Jesus. And then move the opposite shoulder forwards. And then the other shoulder. Really feel it loose in your socket joint. Good, and then move your shoulder and your elbow. And you can let this expand a little bit more into your rib cage. Or if you wanna bend your arm more, you can find whatever feels good to you. And you can reverse direction. And other arm. And reverse direction. Good. And then I'm gonna stand, but if you can you can sit if you want to. Um, and we'll move to the rib cage. So an easy way to make sure you're isolating is to place your hands on your hips and then you're going to move your ribs from side to side. Try to keep your hips in one place. And then when you're ready, you can move front to back. You really notice how where you normally sit and how it yeah, it feels good to press in the opposite direction. And if you want to move it in circles, you're welcome to front side, back side. And then reach to those diagonals as much as you can. And then reverse directions. Good. And then we're going to move our hips. So if you want to, I would like to bend my knees a little bit, but if you want to keep your hands on your hips, you can. We're going to just move side to side. And you can isolate or you can kind of let it roll. I like to let it roll through the spine a little bit and push the hips out. And you can also go front back. Really release that lower spine, the sacrum, the lower vertebrae. I like to feel it, so I put my hand on both sides. And then you can circle. Notice how much mobility you have and reverse. Don't forget to breathe. Good. Shake it out if you want to. Um, and then the last thing I want to do is a little bit of balancing. So first, let's get grounded. Just take your, your feet hip width apart and facing forward. And we'll just take some bends in your knees. You can, it doesn't have to be on any timing. You can take as deep of a bend as you want. Just feel your feet shooting through the floor, through the earth, and all of your energy, all of your weight shooting through the floor. Good, and when you feel grounded, come release your, your knees, and then raise your heels and see if it's easy for you to balance. If it's not, you can come down and try again. And breathe. And down. A couple more rises. And down. And rise. 
But if you can stay, stay. If you can't, you can rest. And release, and release. And then shift onto one leg. And you can bring your other leg to the front. If you want to keep it straight, you can straighten it. I like to bend mine if you want to do an ankle stretch. But just focus on balancing that standing leg. Is it wiggly? Is it wobbly? How can you shoot all of the energy through the ground to feel grounded enough to balance? And continue to breathe. And then shift into your other leg. So take a second in the middle or just jump to the other side and lift your other leg. Feel your energy shooting through that leg that's supporting you. Thank your legs for supporting you and your bodies for supporting you. And release that leg, bend the knees. Then bring your leg to the side and balance here. Find your grounding and breathing and feel your abdominals pressing towards your spine and your, the top of your head shooting to the ceiling. And release it down, bend the knees. Feel both feet planted, then shift to the other side. Bring the leg up to the side. Shoot the standing leg down to the floor. And the crown of your head like a queen or a king to the sky. Let it be easy. Exhale, bring the leg down, and we're going to do one more set to the back. So if you can bring this one's a little bit thick. Bring your leg to the back. You can bend it, you can straighten it, it can be low, it can be high. Just find your balance on your standing leg. And know that if you're shifting around, on your feet, that means you're strengthening those muscles. There's nothing wrong with the shift. You're strengthening your foot muscles and you're strengthening your leg muscles. Good. Step back onto that. Feel both feet planted, then shift to the other side. Bring your opposite leg up behind you. Feel the energy shooting through the floor. Balancing to the back is a little different. You have to bring your weight a little bit more forward. I think in your hips. And it depends on your center of gravity, of course. Inhale, exhale, release the foot back down. Bend the knees. Just do a couple bends, just nice and easy. Then we'll do one more stretch up to the sky. Inhale. Really, really reach as high as you can. Straight, stretch that spine from the ceiling to the floor. And release your arms. And one more roll down. Let your head be so, so heavy. And you can take as much time as you want in here. Curve that spine slowly all the way down. Let that head be so heavy. You can shake it no or shake it yes to make sure that you've released your neck. You can bend the knees. You can bend one knee and straighten the opposite knee. And sh shift between those. Good. Bend the knees all the way down and press your heels up so your weight is pressing into the heels and you're stretching the underside of your foot, something that we never ever stretch. 
but I, it's so necessary. And then press your heels back down, place your hands, and straighten the legs as much as you like. Inhale, exhale, one more release as far as you can down. Inhale and start to curve up, starting with the bottom of your spine, your tailbone, shoot down, and in sequence, the rest of your spine follows, and your head, the extension of your spine, comes up last. And shake out, wiggle out, whatever you need. Yeah. I feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. This was so helpful. Um, I'm going to stop record. I mean, uh, recording. And uh, maybe next time we can do some breathing. Do you know some pranayama or something? Something where, or any movement with the body. And like you said that people use it naturally. But if you can guide us in some exercise where breathing is part of it that would be also be fun yeah i'll i will curate something for that that would be great awesome that would be great thank you so much and uh, take care rafael and we'll see you next time at the same time yes thank you rafael for joining from france yeah maybe time his video is on okay take care bye bye Thanks. bye bye, bye.